Hey, welcome to this episode of Flash Round Illuminate, and today I'm gonna be exposing to you four prophets' acts to balance any negative emotions. The simple hack is called Iraq over my homes. The homes there is coined from the word Omon. Why every single alphabet in the word Iraq stands for something, just like an acronym. The third letter in the word Iraq is the most important, which I want you to take note of as we go along. I from the word Iraq stands for Identify the particular emotion and its cons. Now, when I mean negative emotions, I mean your bad involuntary response to certain situations. Maybe like fear, anger, panic, frustration, bitterness, or malice. And it is majorly processed by a very small part of your brain called the amygdala. So in identifying the particular emotion, it calls for your awareness and knowledge of what you just did or about to do. Maybe your display of anger or you just molested somebody fear, anxiety or anything, you just be like, wow, I just did this. You know, you recognize what that emotion is and its disadvantage. R from the word Iraq stands for recall your intelligence. Fortunately, the frontal part of your brain known for intelligence can of course control the fierceness of the small amygdala. And so recalling your intelligence here means that you've got to deliberately listen and know what your intelligence is saying based on what you just did. Or about to do because majority of the time when the small amygdala takes charge of your brain your intelligence is being silent because of the emotions you are displaying and since your intelligence might have known or just been knowing now that anger could affect your vital organs specifically the liver fear bitterness and frustration weakens the immune system your intelligence that is silent must have been aware that grudges and malice between you and the second party causes enmity and in that way, you don't speak to one another, even if you need something from them. You might not be able to deal with such person as usual, and you won't be able to ask them to do something for you. A from the word Iraq, which is the most important here, stands for allow your intelligence to override such emotions. And since your intelligence knows that you can deprive yourself of critical thinking and become useless during emotional scenes, it would definitely then make sense for you to allow your intelligence to just simply take over and deprive the emotions that is the amygdala of its doing. Simply allow your intelligence to override such emotions by being calm. Also, a good way to allow your intelligence to take charge irrespective of any negative emotions is to take cool water. This in a way balances every negative hormone that has been released by your system and of course your intelligence could take over. Another beautiful way is to take control of yourself by inhaling for 5 seconds, holding for 7 and exhaling for 4, 5, 7, 4. So let's go there together. Sweet, sweet. By just doing this, you have been activated to deactivate any sort of stress hormone in your body. And lastly, K from the word Iraq stands for keep being emotionally intelligent. It is as simple as that. After you have balanced the so-called negative emotions, you keep being emotionally intelligent. This act could seem long, but when you practice it often, your subconscious mind will grab it that in milliseconds, you'll be able to process that information and remain emotionally intelligent. All because you are flash wired. Thank you for watching this episode of Flash Wired Illuminates. Punch the like button if you like this video. And please, even if this is a common request, don't forget to turn on the notification bell after subscribing and get subsequent videos from this platform. And so remain flash wired and I will see you 